Okay, guys. Welcome to the Bamboo Campfire. It's November. <laughs> Middle of November. Uh, busy time of year around here. November. November is the rice harvest. So, uh, everybody's a rice farmer, so everybody's busy this time of year. It's also a uh, time of year when you start the garden. So if you're not harvesting rice, you're planting the garden. Uh, I, my garden is pretty much ready to go, really. But, smart guy like I am, I didn't start any seedlings, so it's starting from seed in the beds. But that's alright. We'll still get something out of it. There's still some stuff in there that we planted a while ago and you know the garden is a year-round thing for us it's just this is the best time of year from uh, November until probably the end of March it's the best growing season here then it gets crazy hot again after that but the, <laughs> the, the weather sucks man you know when they were planting rice there was no rain and everybody's wishing for rain. Now it's harvest time and they need the rice to dry. It's probably rained five times today. You know, not a lot of rain, but, you know, five good rain showers. It's not very, uh, not very good drying weather. So it's a tough time to be a farmer. I guess it's always a tough time to be a farmer. Uh, no real Q&A this time for this video. Not a lot of new questions, but I have been using these videos for people who ask me the same questions over and over again. I just send them this video, uh, send them the video that has the questions answered in it. I don't know if they actually ever watch it. Probably not. <laughs> but that's what I've been doing. Oh, this is going good now. Wood's wet again. I don't know if you can see it or not, the water is just bubbling out of the wood, out of the old bamboo. Not very dry. Okay, uh, one, as you guys know, I don't put up with no no crap in the comment section. All nasty comments are removed, all nasty people are removed. And lately, I've gotten a few comments and one PM private message from people thanking me for keeping not only the the language in the videos clean I do my best I slip up occasionally <laughs> but uh, keep it PG 13 you know and keeping the comments clean one lady actually two one sent a comment and one sent a uh, PM at least one was a lady I can't remember the other one and thank me for doing that because now they can use my video in their classroom, their teachers, so they can show it to their uh, students. One lady said she has grade four class. I don't know where she is, what country, but a grade four class. And uh, it was a video on uh, uh, turkey etching, etching chicken eggs, and uh, she's going to show it to her classroom. And thank me before she did it for not uh, for clean language and the and the clean comment section so that's good you know I remove all the bad comments because <laughs> life's too short man as simple as that but it's nice that you know the videos are going to be used to teach other people and you know kids watch I know kids watch I have a lot of uh, subscribers that are uh, kids and that's cool just prove you know you don't you don't need to be an ass if you don't agree with something you don't agree with it but you don't uh, don't have to go crazy or you're gonna get removed but that's that was cool I, you know I appreciate stuff like that that's uh, really nice kids are growing up these days not knowing anything about where their food comes from so uh, videos about homesteading and you know Cute videos about uh, chickens etching. 
that's uh, good to see and it teach them something. I tell you, that fire is going now. Okay, just got back from Vietnam. Three days ago or something like that, four days ago. We arrived back a few days ago. I don't know. Been so busy, I don't know what day it is. But that's normal, I never know what day of the week it is. <laughs> Boy, it's hard, I gotta move. But yeah, uh, Vietnam's a beautiful country, wow, I was impressed. The country's beautiful, the food is awesome, wow. Don't tell anybody, but Vietnam gives Thailand a run for the money on, on the food. It's uh, pretty good stuff. But I got lots of videos on that. I'm thinking probably about 40 videos. But they're not going to be on this channel. They're going to be on the World Travel Channel. If, if you don't know about that channel, the link is in the description below. There's no videos from Vietnam there right now. And as busy as I am, and I have a few videos already uh, uploaded there from other stuff, it's probably going to be close to the end of the year, I would say, before the Vietnam videos come out. Definitely next month. Organizing all that, uh, all that video, and uh, getting it all edited and uploaded. It's a lot of work, a lot of time. But it'd be worth it, even if you don't like any other videos. The the scenery stuff is freaking amazing. It's a beautiful country, let me tell you. Lots of crazy stuff there. A few things that's going to make some people upset. I've uh, I have videos on, but uh, it is an uh, amazing country. I'm really glad. Wow, really glad I went. A little shrapnel flying here. Yeah, it's a beautiful country. I think those videos are going to be really nice. I'll try and upload them in HD if I can. No promises there. <laughs> uh, one thing I want to talk about is uh, music in videos. I don't very often put music in videos. But sometimes, you know, the, the video needs music, or it's going to be a silent movie. <clears throat> but every video I put music in, somebody's going to not like it. It never fails. Right away, somebody's going to say, that's the wrong music, it's this, it's that, it's got, you know, put your hand on your heart and swear this is the right music for this video. <laughs> you know, I do the best I can, but I decided a long time ago, I'm going to put the music in the video that I like because these videos are watched in every country in the world pretty much. Surprising actually how many countries watch some of the countries I've never even heard of before. But So there's always going to be somebody who don't like the music and that's fine. But the biggest problem with putting music in videos is copyright. You gotta have uh, the royalty free music meaning there's no copyright on it meaning it's it's not published music and there's a, quite a few websites that offer free music and some you can buy and own the rights to it but popular music you can't use you can but you go you're going to get caught if your videos are either bit popular at all you're going to get caught and it don't matter if you're a, a monetized channel or monetized video or not it's they still check you know I don't know how so many people get away with it I've had videos flagged that were not even live just uploaded and right away before they even go live they get flagged for copyright and I've I've challenged so many dozens for a while I was getting flagged almost daily <coughs> and I, I have the copyright information to, and the license agreement so I can uh, challenge it and I win every time I've won but I had my first YouTube channel uh, blocked, removed, I guess removed is the proper word, for copyright. So I learned my lesson the hard way. I had a pretty popular channel, but it was all copyright material. The majority of it was copyright material. And uh, 
I got an email in the middle of the night saying the copyright, I had uh, violated some copyright infringement. And if they found any more copyright problems on my channel, it would be removed. Now this happened at 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning, my time. And an hour later I got another email saying the channel has been uh, closed. And that was it. It was gone. It was done. All those views, all those subscribers. I had a few million views on there, a lot of subscribers. And it was all gone, just in the blink of an eye. Woke up in the morning and it was all over. So I don't mess with copyright anymore. <clears throat> it's not worth it, you could lose everything. But going back to the music in the video thing, if you don't like the music, sorry. Turn it down. Don't watch the video. But uh, it's hard to find the right music for a video. To get the right feel for it. And like I said, I, a long time ago, I decided I'm going to put the music that I like. What feels good to me. If that day I want some heavy metal music, well then that's what it's going to be. Sorry. <laughs> but yeah, music always gets people uh, gets people going. Occasionally people say, hey, that music was perfect. But normally it's people complaining. <laughs> uh, some good news, maybe. I was coming home yes yesterday or two days ago and we drove by this guy stringing out wires in the telephone pole, you know, in the power pole. We drove by the first one and you know, there's a whole bunch of them pulling on these wires. And then we get to the last one and stopped and we asked the guy, you know, what are these wires? They look like telephone wires. <clears throat> and they say, yeah, we're stringing telephone wires from this village, which is my village, to somewhere. I don't know where it's going. But they wouldn't tell us who owns it for some reason. And they say it's not going to be hooked up for at least another month. But there is a chance <laughs> that there's telephones coming here landline then I should be able to get real internet so that would be really really nice my internet's a little bit better now than it used to be in the last month or yeah this in the last month it improved uh, the upload speed has improved the most but the download speed has been pretty good the last couple uh, uh, last I say a couple of weeks I was gone most of that time but you know probably the last month it's been pretty good so maybe things are uh, looking up internet-wise. Might be able to keep up with the, keep doing the HD videos. I can tell you, long HD videos. Anything over four or five minutes, wow, that really just kicks me. They're hard to upload. That's for sure. The neighbor's kid is being a wolf or something. That's the first beer I've had in a long time. A good one. I tell you, when this bamboo gets going, it gets hot. It's like an inferno in there. But being so wet, hard to uh, hard to light. Well, that's the end of my list. I don't know what else is going on. I can say it's busy, busy, busy always busy I want to do uh, uh, a homestead updates those videos are always popular the homestead updates people like the animals <clears throat> I need to do an update there it's been a couple months I think September was the last one so uh, we'll do that still got lots going on with the fish and the frogs and hopefully the garden but I tell you busy I don't get a chance to sit down during the day right now. That's all right. Keeps me out of trouble. You know, I get asked quite a bit about being bored or lonely. Because I'm the only English-speaking one here. <clears throat> don't you get bored? 
<laughs> I don't have time to get bored. I got stuff I need to do. <clears throat> My wife just brought home a big load of cabbage leaves. Somebody in the market's been trimming cabbage and she brought home all the old leaves. So I'm gonna chop those up now. Feed them to the birds in the morning. You can feed the, the whole leaves to them, but they eat them a lot better, a lot faster, a lot easier, and waste a lot less if it's in small pieces. So tonight that's what I'm doing is chopping up leaves. Probably have a couple of five gallon buckets full. That'll be good. They'll like that. Cabbage and lettuce, I think it is. Let's take a look in there. Bamboo gets hot. They don't like to use it to cook with, though. It doesn't last, you know. It gets really, really hot, but uh, the coals don't last. It's got no life to it. <clears throat> but I wouldn't have a problem with it. <laughs> That's all that was around. That's for sure. All right, guys. Well, that's it. You know what? No motorbikes, no trucks, nothing went by tonight. It's quiet. All right, guys. As always, thanks for watching.